Well, I like to tell kids that I never occurred to me in a million years that I'd be an author when I grew up. Um, we never met authors in those olden days. We never uh, even studied authors in school. It was just you got a book, you loved a book, and you didn't associate it with a creator. So I don't think I really knew that writing was my calling, but I knew that I loved living in my imagination. And I spent all my childhood in a state of make-believe. I mean, I couldn't cross the room without thinking that I was in a movie, or I was a cowboy, or I was you know, in an alternate reality. And I think because I grew up on army posts, uh, my brothers and my sister and I were each other's best friends. We moved every year or so, and we just sort of reinvented ourselves constantly. And that was usually through the imagination. So I think in that way, I was always an author. I, was, I would often speak my stories out loud. You know, I would just talk to myself endlessly, and, but I would usually be one of the players in the story. So I think that, that, that those were the signs. And also, I was a big reader. I loved, all, all the kids in my family were big readers. My mom was, had been a second grade teacher before she married, and she made sure we could all read. She'd sit on the couch with us and read with us every day. If there was a weak reader, that one would read with her more. And we were really good readers, and we always went to the library, piled up on books. So I think that was uh, the reading and the make-believe led to my being an author.